government is designing a framework to reinvigorate research and development. The Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabna Frimpombwatin, disclosed this at the Developing Excellence in Leadership Training and Science Conference held in Accra. The Developing Excellence in Leadership Training and Science Program, DELTAS, is a scheme initiated by the Wellcome Trust in partnership with Alliance for Accelerating Excellence in Science in Africa and other partners to support the African-led development. The DELTAS program was laid on a fundamental framework of the Africa Change Theory with specific focus on achieving world-class output in terms of scientific quality, training the next generation of scientific leaders, linking research to policy, and building robust and vibrant research environment in Africa. According to the directors of Deltas Africa, this can be achieved by supporting the development of scientific leaders in Africa through masters, PhD, and postdoctoral fellowships and building the capacity to produce world-class research that addresses Africa's health and research priorities. Eleven programs involving 54 institutions in 21 African countries are being funded through the Deltas Africa program. The Accra conference is aimed at reviewing how policymakers, scientists and researchers can work closely to support research development in Africa. The Executive Director of African Academy of Sciences, Mr. Thomas Kariuku, said the DELTAS initiative is very critical in the development of science and research on the continent. DELTAS is arguably the largest community of health researchers now on the continent. By the time the 11 program directors are through with the recruitment of the DELTAS fellows, uh, we will have a community of close to 1,300 researchers across more than 30 countries, with more than 55 collaborating institutions in Africa, and with something like 25 or more external institutions and partners in Europe and North America. The University of Ghana is one of the institutions benefiting from the DELTAS initiative. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Ebenezer Odro Owusu, said the initiative will complement its efforts to develop science and research in Ghana and Africa as a whole. One of the most profound impacts of the Wagbik Deltas program at the university has been its postdoctoral training program. The program has attracted some of the most talented young African scientists who graduated with PhDs in the last few years. If this trend is sustained, we may well be on our way to reversing the brain drain that has so severely hampered the quality of science on the continent. The Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabina Frimpombwating, outlined measures that the government is putting in place to support science, research and development. So far, the amount of money dedicated to research and development is just about 0.025% of GDP. But our president, Nana Adudankwe Kufuado, has promised to increase it to 1% in accordance with what AU is saying. And I think he will not even stop there. In future, when we get some more money, he will increase it. So that is my hope. And uh, that is the hope of all of us, that when we get 1% of GDP into research and development, we'll make uh, headway. The director of the West African Center for Cell Biology of Infectious Pathogens, Mr. Gordon Awandari, welcomed government's decision to increase the support for research and development in Ghana and hoped that it will go a long way to support the sector.